In 2014 alone, 726 cyclists were killed in crashes in the U.S. Even in cities like Boston, with cycling infrastructure and culture, cyclists face tremendous risk. In 2005, Jesse Gray Singer created the first Ghost Bike Memorial, a stripped bike frame spray-painted white and placed at the site of a cyclist's death in New York. There are now over 630 ghost bikes worldwide. On October 5th, 60-year-old Joe Lavens was killed on his bicycle in Porter Square. The newest ghost bike in Boston is dedicated to him. A ghost bike has the form of a bicycle, but not the function. Locked in place and time, it stands in memory of tragedy, evoking both pity and fear. It is both strikingly beautiful and interactive. Passers-by stop to observe, think, and feel. Flowers and remembrances are added. The community makes each ghost bike its own. In a 2015 Guardian op-ed, Singer wrote, For every old bicycle I've covered in white paint, I've begged to never make another. There are days when this feels like the worst project in the world. Then, there are days when a mourning parent, child, or partner says thank you. This helped. <laughs>